was it hard to stay like focused or was you just or were you guys just so motivated to be playing like and getting paid and doing stuff that you love that that was all the motivation that you need? It was we used to get distracted a lot. Oh, I, oh, I believe, I believe, yeah, I believe. You know, you, yes. Yeah, I, believe, I know my dad pretty well. We, we would get distracted a lot, but when we always knew that when uh, David or whoever we were playing with said it's time to work or I want to do this, that's when we focused in. We, fo we always focused in on the leader of the session. Uh, or in David's case, in, uh, whenever David was trying to get something done, we always focused in on him. And of the other gigs that we did with people around the city, um, whenever they were, would take the lead and step up and say, it's time to do this, then we'd all just get back together and move it forward. Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. I have another question. Mm -hmm. My dad used to always tell me that David was pretty weird when it comes down to like, fashion and what he wanted y'all to wear mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Have you ever, like, have you ever, like, like, he said y'all doing Saturday Night Live, mm -hmm. right? And my dad was telling me that uh, he had you guys outfit that he wanted, I guess he wanted y'all to wear a certain thing. And my dad was like, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> Was there ever a time that you was like, I'm not wearing that? No, no. I remember, uh, and this is a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember essentially wearing what I wanted to wear. Really? Yeah. And, and, and I remember your dad wearing what he wanted to wear. He would wear yeah. some. And lots of times what, what, what Dennis would wear is... It, <laughs> Jeans and a T-shirt. Um, sometimes more. The, the T-shirts were kind of expressive and, and unique. But um, both of us pretty much wore what we wanted. I remember in the first tour in 19, 1975, I wore a suit for every performance. Three-piece suit. And with, with, a, uh, with a top hat. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, you're the top hat guy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> with, a top, with a top hat and with platform snakeskin boots. So I'm skinny anyway. So with the boots and the hat and the suit, on stage I looked like I was seven feet Be tall. tall. <laughs> like Kareem out doing the ball. That is hilarious. <laughs> Stetson, mm -hmm. and there were times when I'd either wear a t-shirt and, and black dress pants and white dance shoes, or sometimes I'd wear a um, no hat and a kimono, a nice kimono. So I, I was, David said he let us wear pretty much what we wanted to wear. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Carlos had a very interesting, he had, I think, his wardrobe was a little more unique than, than ours because he kind of, he had more, he was more in costume sometimes than, right. than street clothes. Dennis right. and I would wear street clothes. Right, 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 right. right, right. So, okay, so I guess that, okay, so I guess I don't know, but he, he I remember him telling me that story, like mm -hmm. about Saturday Night Live and, 
Mm -hmm. I mean, he he did have something weird on on Saturday Night Live, but it was just like I was I seen him and he had like these big headphones on with this big afro and this big yeah. beard and like you could barely see his face and mm -hmm. but he he looked I guess he was comfortable. He was, he was comfortable. well. You never know otherwise if he wasn't. Right, right, right. Because I mean, they, he played like he played, and the, the, the headphones that he wore, the big cups on it, yeah. and those those were state of the art headphones. Your, your dad always had that. Always wanted the top shelf stuff when it came to electronics, and musical equipment. And, and, yeah, you know, <laughs> trust me, I know. I had some expensive yeah. stuff when I was a kid. So. Don't know where it's at now, but yeah. <laughs> I have, I'm going to go back to that question that my little brother asked you. When you stopped playing bass uh, and you said you went to, you started doing a regular job, mm -hmm. was that for, was that because like you started a family and you started having kids and a wife and, or you just was tired of the, the music scene? It was a combination of both. It's a combination of both? It's a combination of both. And um, uh, there are many people that actually will, will continue their their um, their love of musical instrument they play and work a job at the same time. Um, <clears throat> one usually the more energy is usually given to one than the other, uh, just because of the amount of time. Um, but I I. Tended to, I tended to focus more on the job that I was doing, or for several reasons. One, I was glad to have it. It was a good job. Oh, well, um, what was the job? I got a, I, in 1987, I, I, I applied for a job at the Alhambra Unified School District. Okay. As uh, working with their career education program. Um, and, and arranging for transportation for students to get back and forth for their uh, their uh, technical training classes and their their, their, um, their work assignments out the job. So okay. anyway, so I, I stayed with with Alhambra Unified. I'm still there after this is the, my 32nd year there. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And I, I worked up from that entry level position all the way up to an assistant superintendent. Oh, that's okay. awesome! And just by just by concentrating on the job I was doing, thank you. And um, just you know, I, I was the whatever the job I was doing, I was I I, I tried to do it as I'm I'm the guy you can count on if you need to get something done. Right. And that's so that's where a lot of my time got devoted to. Okay. And I kind of kind of moved away from. From playing, um, mainly because I wanted to separate myself from the music industry. <laughs> It wasn't the same environment 
here in, that I was encountering here in Los Angeles as I did in New York. And that doesn't mean you can't be successful, but I just was, was not encountering it. And the, the, I, I didn't really want to put a whole lot of energy into um, just playing things that I didn't really want to play out here. So um, I, I had done enough of that. Okay. So that that's, that was that was another. Reason. So it's like basically you want to make your own, yeah, music. Yeah, and, so. and, and I you know I I may go back to that. I, I'm actually nearing my retirement. Okay. Uh, so that that would be that would be a, mm -hmm. a good. That's I mean, a, I would, that would be a good thing yeah. to do. That would that's be a, a good thing. That's a possibility. Yeah, you know, so you enjoy your retirement. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still enjoy music. You still want to mm -hmm. play music. I I would recommend doing mm -hmm. that. Like you know, what I'm saying that keep you going. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, during the last, honestly, during the last years of my dad's life, the only thing that really, to me, has kept him going was them drums. Mm -hmm. Like, I know he loved us and he loved being with us and everything, but as far as, like, his passion, that was what, that, that was just the drums. Mm -hmm. It was to the, like, honestly, we rolled him t in a wheelchair mm -hmm. up to that drum set. Mm -hmm. He played for like hours. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there, but I just kept. I heard the story, and I just, I just feel like, honestly, yeah, I feel really blessed to be able to just come here and talk to you guys that knew him because it's a lot of like I'm his, I'm his, honestly I'm his oldest son, and it's a lot of stuff that I don't know mm -hmm. that as far as his career. You know, I didn't know he played Fame. Mm -hmm. Like you just like sealed that in the picture for me. Mm -hmm. Like whenever somebody, at, whenever that song comes on, I'm gonna yell, "Hey, that's my dad." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Listening and hearing a lot of this for the first time because, as was mentioned, or very similarly, I don't play. I don't play an instrument. Mm -hmm. You and mom never forced me to, and that's perfectly fine. I always hear stories of adults who say they're glad their parents forced them to do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say you should have done it because mm -hmm. that would be very selfish. Mm -hmm. But I'm hearing all this, all these stories of. You having impeccable style, which you still do, but in a very less less loud manner. Mm -hmm. And yeah, awesome. all these stories of not as the craziness, but the sort of thing I would expect to hear my friends around the drinking table. And my first question was going to be, do you miss it? But it's clear to me that you have you, know, you enjoyed it enough that you would definitely still want to go back and play at some point. Jan has always mentioned, you know, he wants you to play. I mean, mm -hmm. He's going to make you promise. And the, I guess the main question I have is, what do you think you took away the most as a person from spending all this time with Carlos and Dennis and Bowie?
Hmm. Um, I'm spending the, the, the time with, 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 with Carlos and Dennis and the other band members that we played with and the, the group of people around um, around David. I think I, I, what I took away the most was just the, uh, the uniqueness of that situation. The, the, the uniqueness of, of all the, the different individuals that um, were, a, were a part of, the, of that environment and that reality for those six years that we were uh, that we were together, and the um, the amazing amount of good fortune that I that I had, and Carlos had, and Dennis had. And they had they had we all had it for different reasons, but we all had a very very high degree of good fortune to be able to be there together at the same time. You've got me rich and poor. pretentious as he was when we were working with him. That was also a valuable experience. Well, like you said, non-pretentious is very... Mm -hmm. I, I, David was just David. And when we were, <laughs> David was just David. And that and the, the reflection of that was the same. David was just David. Carlos was just Carlos. George was just George. Dennis was just Dennis. And, and, and everything that that entailed, but everybody was just everybody was just their own individual entity that were there together to, to uh, uh, for the same purpose, like their own chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there there is much that I don't know, and much that I've gleaned just from today, and honestly, I would like to learn more okay. as life goes on, and. I would, I have definitely, I've definitely felt that I've inherited the good fortune that you described. I also feel that I hope I've inherited some of the style that I just here described because that top head sounds amazing. And this is the, this is the next question. Where is the Stetson? The, the, st the Stetson was, the Stetson was, was lost or somebody... Either I, it was left someplace or someone took it. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the Stetson. I'll have to find an exact. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's your Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to wear it. <laughs> no, like all the other hats I buy you, you could forget them. I'll take them. We'll donate them. You're going to wear the Stetson. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. All thank right. you, Dad. Thank you. to find out more by way of an interview. Other people may ask me questions, I'll, I'll answer. Um, but nobody's, re nobody's really asked for an interview. You're, you're kind of the, you're, you're unique in that, in that respect. Okay. Kind of just like your dad. Your dad was a very unique individual. Yes, he was. You have that also. So by you, by you, you could have, if you would come and say, can I act, can we talk for a little while, that's fine. You want to do it as an interview, that's fine with me, too. Okay. Okay, guys. This! What? You can't stand <laughs> that, <laughs> This is the final, that, that was the final question, guys. Leave a comment below, um, and, uh, leave a like, and, and subscribe, so, so I can be famous and, 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 and get better. Better, better things to interview, better lights, better, better things, yeah, better mater too. materials, and I hope you guys like the video. Um, have a nice day! <laughs>